The 30 members of Arlington Memorial High School's graduating class of 2019 arrived at their high school on Saturday, June 8th, one last time as students before leaving as the school's latest alumni, diplomas in hand. They marched into their school's gymnasium to the sounds of pomp and circumstance and to the cheers and applause from parents, teachers, and guests who had gathered there for the occasion. Principal Sarah Merrill opened the ceremonies with a few welcoming remarks. I'd like to begin by highlighting and celebrating some interesting and important statistics about our seniors. 30 members of the senior class. 40% are the first children in their family to graduate from AMHS. 30 Hobie leaders, one soccer All-American, 25 enrolled in post-secondary education. Three received technical certifications during their high school career. 70% high school athletes. 54, the number of colleges and universities that accepted our scholars. Nine members of the music program. One congressional art award artist. 19 held part-time jobs. 17 are the last child in their family to graduate from AMHS. Three international students, five entering the workforce. 10% were successful hunters this season. Four. She was followed by James Ashman, a member of the school's faculty, who gave the main commencement address. And you may not realize it today, sitting here with your adult life ahead of you, but this place has put you ahead in many ways, regardless of the path you choose. At a school like this one, you cannot be lost in the crowd. You cannot go unnoticed. You cannot simply exist. You are known by every teacher and adult. By all means, find that which you are passionate about and give that passion your best. But also continue to seek out opportunities that will help you maintain a well-rounded life. Continue to venture into new and uncertain ideas because you don't know any better, but you are willing to learn and find out. Keep your AMHS well-rounded attitude. You and those around you will be all the richer for it. Thank you and good luck. He was in turn followed by Therese Belknap, who gave the salutatorian address. We are a family. I stand here at this podium my classmates surround me, and we in turn are surrounded by your love. We sense your inspiration. We acknowledge your guidance and teachings. Then came the class valedictorian, Shauna Staub. 20 minutes, we're gonna have a fancy piece of paper in our hands telling us we might know lots of answers about biology, algebra, or history. But I'm not talking about those types of answers. I'm talking about answers to questions like, Am I being the best person I can be? How do I wish to be seen by others? Do I wish to be remembered as the person who went out of their way to put others down or to lift others up? High school is such a small fraction of our lives, and it is also a fraction of the Arlington community. Even though being comfortable can sometimes prevent us from growing, the comfort of our community has helped us answer those questions. Being a community does not mean we are all the same. On the contrary, being community means taking our differences and making them that which brings us together. I am so proud and so grateful to have had the Arlington community by my side throughout this crazy journey. And I hope my fellow graduates show this appreciation. Arlington has remained a constant in my life and has always given me a shoulder when I needed one. We are connected, we are supportive, we are compassionate. We are Arlington. Thank you. After that, it was on to the main reason everyone had converged on the gymnasium in the first place, the handing out of the diplomas. Linus Belowian. <laughs> Colleen Marie Blomberg.
Emily Elizabeth Calder. Liz A. Pike. Have met all graduation requirements set forth by the state of Vermont and the Arlington Board of Education. Congratulations, class of 2019. Then the class processed back outside, now graduates, and on to the next phase in their lives. For the GNET TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.